Welcome to St. Paul's First Video Sunday School. I'm so glad that you're able to join us. This year we're going to be doing, well, a lot of things differently, but what we're going to do with our videos is we will be reading from Archbishop Desmond Tutu's Children of God Storybook Bible. There's a Bible for each family here at St. Paul's. They are located on the portico, the covered porch of the parish building. If you do not have a um, storybook Bible, please call Christine Connolly, our parish administrator, and she'll be more than happy to help you. Inside the Bible, there'll be a few pieces of paper. One of them has a schedule. The next piece of paper has the prayers of the people that we'll use each week and the other piece of paper is Psalm 23 that we will recite in unison at the conclusion of each of our Sunday School videos. So, welcome. We'll begin by reciting a wonderful prayer, one that was taught to us by Jesus. Please join with me as we say in unison the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our story today is the story of creation. And you can follow along with me in your storybook Bible as I read it to you, or you can simply listen. It's a beautiful story. In the very beginning, God's love bubbled over when there was nothing else. No trees, no birds. No animals, no sky, no sea, only darkness. Out of this love, God spoke. Let there be light. And there was day, and there was night. And when the first day was done, God smiled and knew that it was good. On the second day, God said, let there be sky where the clouds can float and the wind can blow. And the sky was bright, blue, and beautiful. On the third day, God said, let the waters gather together into oceans and let the dry land appear. Now, God decided to make the world even more dazzling with tall trees and long grass. And then the first flower opened in all its glory. On the fourth day, God said, let the sky be filled with the sun and moon and God scattered stars across the sky like sparkling diamonds. On the fifth day, God said, let there be birds to fly and sing and fish to swim and splash. And the world was filled with the joyous sound of bird song. On the sixth day, God said, let there be animals, elephants and giraffes, cats and mice and bees and bugs. And suddenly the world was a very noisy place. But something was still missing. Then God said, I will make people and I'll make them like me so they can enjoy the earth and take care of it. He did just as he had said, and it was all so very, very good. God looked at everything 
he had made and clapped his hands in delight. Isn't it wonderful? And on the seventh day, God laughed and rested and enjoyed his glorious creation. Wow, isn't that a great story? Well, today I'd like to talk a little bit about it. Maybe there is time when you go outside and you might have a yard. And if you don't have a yard, maybe you have a park or a playground that you can walk and look around and notice all of God's marvelous creation. I'm sitting here in the rectory yard today, and the rectory yard is part of the parish of St. Paul's. In the reading that we listen to for today, we are told of some of the wonderful things God made. Sun and moon, water, plants and animals, and even people. But sometimes it's easy to take for granted that the world exists. After all, it's here every day. So today I'd like to give you a challenge. I wonder how many things that God created that you can notice the next time you go outside. Can you count five things in nature that God created? Maybe even 10 or more. Here in my yard, there are sunflowers, grass and trees, and birds. In the woods right behind me, there live a family of rabbits that come out and play on the rectory yawn, lawn each evening. There are also chipmunks and squirrels who live here, and at least one garter snake that I've found. There are also spiders and bugs as well all sorts of living things. There's also my husband, Phil. He lives here with me in the rectory. I don't want to forget about him. Maybe you have people that live in your home with you as well, members of your family. What stays with me about the story of God's creation of the world is this. At the end of each day, God makes a pronouncement. And a pronouncement is something God says with great authority. Every day, at the end of the day, God looks at all God has made and says, it is good. God loves creation. God loves the things that God has made, and that includes you as well. Now, if you've ever made a drawing or a painting, written a poem or a story, then you know how important it is that if you give whatever it is that you have made to someone you love, that they appreciate what you've given them. For example, if you bake a batch of cookies, isn't it wonderful if the people you give them to take the time to smell them and to taste them? And of course, to say thank you. Thank you for your hard work, your creativity, your ability. Today, I invite you to notice the world around you to go outside. It doesn't even matter if the weather's bad. Go outside and notice a tree, a bird, a flower. Notice how some of the leaves even now are just starting to change. Notice how the air in the early morning smells different than the air in the evening. And then take a moment and tell God Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you have made, for it is good. It is very good. But this time, we will pray. And these prayers, like I said earlier, they are in this um, 
enclosed in the Children of God storybook. And our prayers are the prayers of the people. And the part that you will recite is the part that is in italics. Now, I will make the petition, and a petition is simply asking God for something. And then your part is called the response, and that's in italics. Most of the time, your response is, God hears me when I pray. But at the very end of the prayers of the people, we will recite the response together. So I'll pause and you can do your part after each petition. God, we pray for family, friends, pets, and others in our everyday life. We pray to keep them healthy, safe, and happy. We love them. God, we pray for doctors, teachers, coaches, clergy, and caregivers, and for all those who keep us healthy and challenge our minds. God, we pray for our president, members of Congress, Democrats, independents, and Republicans. We pray that they make good choices, that they have integrity, are honest and open to new ideas. We pray that they learn how to collaborate and make decisions for the good of all people. God, we pray for people with disabilities who are in need of help, those who can't be helped, and those who don't know they need help. We pray they overcome darkness God, we pray for those who have died within our faith community. God, we pray for ourselves. Guide us and show us the paths we should take. Strengthen us. Keep us believing in ourselves and be grateful for what we have. Remind us you love us and watch over us every day. God, we pray for the world. We pray for countries in need or in trouble. Help us to keep our world healthy, safe, and peaceful. God hears me when I pray. Out of all the people in this great big world, God hears me. God knows my voice. God hears me when I pray. The final thing we'll do together today is recite Psalm 23. Please join with me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Thank you for joining with me. I look forward to us coming together through our video Sunday school again. God bless you and keep you this week.